the faith, the faith that was once delivered to the saints, or do you follow your emotions? That's a question we all got to really meditate on and, and ask ourselves. And in the grace of Yeshua, in the grace of HaMashiach, being HaElohim, we have to be really honest with ourselves. Do we follow the faith, his faith, or do we follow I and I emotions? Right? That's, that's the question to be decided. Do we follow the faith, or do we follow our emotions? Do we follow the faith, or do we follow our feelings? <clears throat> What's interesting is that, you know, as a, as a newborn, almost like as a babe, we are all subject to those mixed up moods and attitudes. I mean, look at a child. A child has to be nurtured. A child needs the milk before they can chew and eat the solid foods. Right? You know, but the solid foods, they won't be able to, to chew it. It would choke, right? It would choke on the on the meat of the word or the solid food. So we first need the milk of the word, the basics. And this is why I propose and I put forward this question: Do we follow the faith, the true faith, or do we follow our mixed up moods and attitudes, our our humanness, our human feelings and emotions? Right? Do we follow our soul? In other words, do we follow his spirit? Or do we follow our mixed up moods and attitudes, our feelings, our unregenerated? That's, that's the main point right there. Our unregenerated, um, thoughts, feelings, and emotions. Have we learned his way? Or are we still desperately trying to do it our way? And see, this is, this is the key. This is the first step. He said, if anyone will come after I, what does he say? Right? He says, if anyone would follow I, what does he say? What does he say in his word? Do we know his word? Are we seeking to learn of him? Are we seeking to take his yoke upon I and I? He says, if any would come after him, what does he who we say is our Lord, right? Our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. What does he say to us? What does he command us? What is that first word? That first word, before we can even, <laughs> you know, um, get to two, three, four, five, we're going to have to deal with first thing first, right? What does, what does the Torah say? It says, Shema Yisrael. Yahweh Eloheinu, Yahweh Akhad, here O Israel, he who be who he be, is one he who be who he be. Well, what does the word say? Right? Yeshua, right? He said to his disciples, if any man, that's generically speaking, male or female, so there's, the, you know, there's no exception there, right? If any man, right? Male, or female, right? Will come after I. That means we'll follow I. That's what it means. Come after I, right? We'll follow I. He says, let him, right? Make him deny himself. That's the first step that a lot of one slip past. You know, we don't look at that. I mean, we're learning, we're growing in different things, but we don't recognize first things first. We're still looking at things from from our um, selfish ways, our unregenerated ways, our old man ways, our old man and old woman nature. And that's what causes the mix up moods and attitudes in the camp. That's what causes all the so-called problems or challenges. And, you know, that's, that's what causes the mixed up moods and attitudes and the lack of the lack of fruitfulness, right? The lack of coming together, 
You say, oh, I and I need to come together. No, the first thing you need to do is come together with the word of life, right? With the words of Jesus Christ. That's the first thing you need to come together with, right? Because he says to his disciples, that's the key right there. He didn't say he says to his believers, right? He didn't say he says to the Christians. He didn't say that Yeshua says, then said, Jesus, Jesus, to his disciples. Does it say that Yeshua spoke this to, to the Christians? No, it doesn't say that. He says to his disciples. So we have to ask the question, what is, right? Who is, are we disciples? What does disciple mean? We're under his discipline, right? We've taken that yoke, right? He says, take my yoke, right? My, my discipline, even the word within, you probably heard yoga. But yoga and the word yoke, right? Since that come the word yoke coming out of a Indo-European root and even the Hindi culture come, you know, yoke is related. It's not the same word in the Hebrew, but we're just going from low degree to high degree. So when it says, take my what? Yoke, right? Take my discipline, right? Take my discipleship, my discipline upon who? Upon you, right? And do what? And learn, learn. Learn. That's the first step. That's the first key. Education is the key, right? Which is the teaching of His Majesty. Kanamawi Haile Selassie. Education is the key, right? And the first knowledge we need is the knowledge of the scripture, of the word. That's the groundation. That's the foundation. That's how we become grounded and settled, right? And so when these feelings and thoughts arise within us, we have the maturity and the grace Right, the grace to overcome, the grace to really, you know, um, to follow Him and not follow our own mixed up moods and attitudes, our own feelings and emotions, our unregenerated. Unregenerated means they're not born again. The same feelings and emotions we had, right, before we say, Yes, I am His disciple. Yes, I have faith. I amen. I amen in Him. Right, I admit in Him. Right, I be live. I be living in Him. Right, I give credo, credence. I give credit. Right, give credit. That's what faith means. Faith means credo means credit. What is your credit rating? Right, do you regard this word, this teaching of Ha Mushiach? Do you regard it very highly, or is it a little thing? It's, it doesn't really make sense. You see, what I'm saying that that will show. Right, whether there will be fruitfulness, right, whether you will be the the one fourth, you know what I mean, or whether you fall under the the three fourths, you know, a sower went forth to sow a seed, you know, and three fourths failed, but w- the one was the one that was the good ground, and the good ground is the prepared ground, and the ground that we prepare is our hearts and our minds. Right, so he says in Matthew sixteen twenty four. Then said Yeshua. Then said he Jesus to his disciples, to his Talmudim. Right, But in the in the Hebraist in the Hebrew, right, uh, Talmudim means students. That's what it means. We're not talking about no Babylonian stuff. We're talking about Yeshua. Right, we're talking about Hamushiach, the Bein Ha Elohim Chayim. Right, the Christ, the Son of the Living Power. Right, He says, "Let him deny himself." Mm. See, that's a stumbling stone. Their own hard-headedness. That's what people. That's what most of us stumble on. And even I and I, you know, and I walk. I and I can see many times where I've stumbled on that. You know, you don't want to deny yourself. You, we have. See that, that there it goes. We start to follow our feelings. Oh well. I don't really feel like that. I don't feel, you understand? But see, we don't recognize what are the feelings? Where do they come from? What do they really represent? <clears throat> well, he says right here, he says, and take up his cross, right? And do what? And follow me, right? But in order to be able to follow someone, we have to see them, you know what I mean? In a sense, we have to see them in spirit and in truth. So we have to see what Yeshua is saying. We have to see what Ha Mushia is saying. So the question I just want to wrap up right here. The question is, 
do we follow the true faith, the faith that was once delivered to the saints, or do we follow our mixed up moods and attitudes, our feelings? Repent before it's too late.